the best team Carolina's played. Tomorrow, they're going to face the best team they've played. Second free throw rolls off the front of the rim, and it's still 85-65. We're over 50 total free throws shot in today's game. This is all of a sudden turned into a foul fest as Weathers drives the baseline, gives it into the corner to Wojcik. The Tar Heels pass it out to Cormac Ryan, who feeds Washington, sets the screen for Cadeau. Long jump shot. And that goes down for Cadeau. So he knocked down his first career triple earlier. That was a long two, and it's 87-65. Cadeau into double figures for the first time in his young career. Two minutes to play. Heels up 22. Oconquo up off the bench to check in at the next whistle. As Bourne, 17-footer. Misses off the front rim. Offensive rebound for the Panthers, who send it back outside to Wolf. He was hot earlier, but cold late, and that ball's over the baseline, giving all these subs a chance to check in. So Ryan and Withers and Washington, and just about everybody else who was on the floor for Carolina comes off. Zayden Hyde checks back in. He had those three early fouls in the first half. Maybe a chance to redeem himself here in the second half. Trimble's on the floor for Carolina. Wojcik has the ball on the right wing. 90 seconds to play. Cadeau, all sorts of dribbling action. Oh, oh, he created some space. Where in the world did he go? He comes up with a layup, and Elliott Cadeau has made it an 89-65 lead as the Panthers and R.J. Taylor hoist up an air ball on the other end of the floor, and Carolina Adam just getting better as this game gets longer. That's why Cadeau doesn't have to take 17-foot jumpers off no passes because he can get to the rim as he did on the previous possession. But on this one, Zayden High loses it after some contact. Yeah, swooping play through the lane. High can't connect, and the Panthers get the ball back. They can connect with Drew Daniels' first field goal, making it 89-67. 45 seconds left. The Tar Heels up 22. Okonkwo, cross court to Cadeau on the near sideline. Cadeau matched up with Henry. Another three for Cadeau. Spins off the rim. Okonkwo active, tapping it, tapping it, and knocking it off of Duax. There's a hustle play that the Tar Heels will appreciate with just 29.6 seconds to play. That's why his teammates love Harrison Ingram. He looks as excited about that play as he did about any of the three three-pointers that he's got in this game. 89-67. Fourth ever matchup between these two teams. Looks like Carolina's going to win it handily. Cadeau on the inbounds pass. 15-footer. little shake and bake. Well, the disappear reappear act is not getting old, Adam. The first time he reappeared with a layup, that's just a solid jump shot. As Duax spins out of control and misses the layup, Taylor on the offensive rebound drops it in from 10. And the Panthers refuse to go quietly. Ten seconds to play, and the Tar Heels will dribble this one out. 91-69, the Tar Heels from down six at the half. Double up Northern Iowa in the second stanza, outscoring the Panthers 56-20. to 